Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will share my top 10 features for the new iOS 7 running on my iPhone 5. And this is the iOS 7 Beta 5, which is the latest. And so far, it's been very, very smooth and fluid. So let's uh, dive right in. So the first thing I want to look at is the control center, which gives you quick access to the controls and apps you always seem to need. So let's pull it up. And there you go. Okay, so along the top, you've got access to your airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the Do Not Disturb toggles. You can also lock your screen's orientation or adjust its brightness. Along the middle, you get access to your music controls, like play, pause, and skip a song. And at the bottom, you've got uh, the AirPlay option to connect to AirPlay-enabled devices and the AirDrop feature. And also, all the way at the bottom, you've got a couple apps where you can quickly access your flashlight, timer, calculator, and your camera. The next feature is the notifications center. So pull down from the top and you get to see what's going on today. And then you can swipe between different kinds of notifications by using your finger, which is pretty awesome. So that's the, uh, the missed notifications, all notifications, and what's going on today in front of you. The third feature is the fact that you can access both the notifications center and the control center right from your lock screen. So that's the controls and these are the notifications. So this makes the phone much more usable and awesome. Okay, so let's uh, go back into the phone and here's the password lock screen. Beautiful. So the next feature I want to talk about is the camera feature. So this is a very easy to use, well-designed camera app. So let's launch it and I'll show you what I mean by that. So you got four shooting mo modes and to switch between these guys you just swipe with your finger. So there's a video, there's the photo, there's the square, and there's the panoramic view. And you can do the same in fact by swiping on the screen itself. Okay, so that is very easy to use and I love it. So the next feature actually has to do with the camera app also. And what I like here is that before you take a photo, you can apply a preview filter to see what it looks like. So tap that preview icon and choose the effect you want to pick. Take a look at that. Okay, so before you take a picture, you can preview how it's going to look like. Okay, go back to normal. So that is actually a very usable feature once more. The next one is the subtle feature that they added. It is auto updating the apps. So you don't have to sit down and update apps all the time. They get automatically updated. It tells you when they were updated and what kind of um, updates were applied. You can go and you can go into the details of each app. But finally, you don't have to worry about updating the apps all the time. It just happens in the background when you're not using the phone. Now let's say you do have a lock screen and somebody swipes down your notifications tab. They can actually go inside and see some private information. You can actually disable this and I like that fact. So let's go inside to our phone and then go to settings. Oops, go to settings. And then find the settings for the notification center and you can tap notifications view in the lock screen to be off. So let's turn this off and on and now pull it down. All you see is today. You're not going to see what was missed, who texted you and all kinds of private information. Okay, so this is a very nice little um, option. And then comes the airdrop feature. You can share pictures and, and video files using airdrop. You don't have to text message anymore you don't have to email stuff so you pull your uh, command center up and there's the airdrop feature you can make sure that you're visible to everybody or your contacts only so how does it work let's say I want to send a picture so let's pick a picture and press that share button and in the airplay option if there's anybody close by to you that is using the same feature they are going to pop up and my iPad just popped up so if I tap that, my iPad is going to get a notification, which I'm going to go and accept. And after I click accept, uh, it's going to send the picture 
directly to the iPad. In fact, you can see that happening on my iPhone 5. Okay, and then let's get out. So this is an amazing little feature that makes sharing very easy. So let's not forget about the multitasking feature on the iOS 7. You double tap the home button and all the apps running in the background show as preview screens on a side-to-side -side scrollable list. You get a full snapshot of the app screen and you simply swipe any of these cards up to close that app. Okay, and just to let you know, this is a very smooth and fluid operation. I sense no lag. Okay, so the final feature I'm going to talk about is the Siri, and I'm going to talk about a specific enhancement that they added to Siri, which is the fact that Siri can now use Wikipedia as a reference. So if I go into Siri, what year did George Orwell die? So you get a very specific answer, and it's referenced from Wikipedia, just like Google Now. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And connect with me socially on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. All the links to my social media is in the description below. And I'll see you the next time.